Welcome back everybody, my name is Nick930 and we're going to do a full analysis of the two trailers for the newly announced A Way Out game. We're going to start by looking at the initial reveal trailer first. So starting off we see a bus driving down a road, likely dropping off one of our main characters in a prison at the beginning of the game. We have two protagonists in this game, Vincent, the guy with the goatee, he's going to be an older, more troubled guy that just wants revenge, and he wants to see his newborn daughter. We also have Leo, the guy with the sideburns, and he's a bit more erratic and wants to get out to see his family again. We don't know why they're locked up and it's never explicitly revealed, but I'm sure they're going to reveal that in the actual game. Now this game is a very story-driven cooperative multiplayer game, and it's cooperative meaning you will not be able to play this by yourself. You have to have a friend to play this game. It's being developed by Hazelight Studios, and it looks to be one of the more unique and impressive games shown at E3 so far. So the first scene here we have shows a prison yard, looks to be set in the 1970s. We get two shots giving us a better look at the protagonist. Uh, here we have a shot showing a tall prison block. Next shot shows the two protagonists mopping the floor outside near some searchlights. Not sure if this is one of our protagonists doing push-ups here in the cell. Here we have one of our protagonists being thrown into solitary confinement. In this shot we can see a full cafeteria with prison inmates sitting around having conversations with each other. The next scene shows our two protagonists having a conversation where it's revealed that both characters intend on breaking out. It looks like the character with sideburns is reluctant to work together with the protagonist in blue. Here we're shown that this is a co-op experience and the next scene shows a split screen that, can f that at first appeared to be done for the sake of the trailer but is in fact part of the game itself. That's right, this game will force split screen even if you're playing online with a friend to help create a unique aesthetic that allows you to see what's happening in the story from two different angles. These shots here show some examples of what you can expect including crawling into some small spaces and sneaking around the prison. There appears to be some stealth action built into the game like a crouching mechanic here and some great visuals are showcased here like specular lighting on the ground. The scene right here might be one of my favorites where you can see both players pushing against each other's backs to try and climb vertically up a narrow shaft. And you'll notice that when both characters are together, the split screen viewpoint is removed in favor of a shared screen experience. After a few shorter clips of split screen gameplay, we get another bit of dialogue about how the hat the hatch they're about to drop through is too dark and our more arrogant protagonist jumps in anyway. Finally, we get some footage from outside the prison suggesting this game will extend further than the prison itself. You see the main characters strolling through a beautifully rendered forest and then they stumble on a pickup truck in an old barn. The video cuts to a scene where the players are escaping police in a high speed chase where one player controls the vehicle while the other fires guns from the bed of the truck. We have another scene here that shows the scale this game is aiming for where our protagonists are sliding down the glass ceiling of a skyscraper in a much more urban environment suggesting they eventually go to a big city. The next scene shows off some close quarter combat, hoping this is actual combat you can control and not just a cutscene or worse quick time events. Here we can see the characters pinned down by gunfire and the animations here look fantastic as they duck under fire. Reminds me a lot of the more recent Uncharted games. The next scene introduces a new allied character, a black woman with a 1970s afro that seems to have one of our characters at gunpoint after a disagreement with a plan they're making. She seems to not know the guy with the goatee as well as the guy with the sideburns. The next scene shows Vincent, now Vincent is the guy with the goatee by the way, jumping out of a third floor window and landing into a skylight below. We get a bit of motive here in the next scene where we see Leo reuniting with his son in a suburban neighborhood. The next scene shows Vincent's backstory a bit, with him reuniting with his wife who's in a hospital giving birth to a baby girl. Their relationship appears to be strained and Vincent seems to just want to see his daughter. The next scene shows uh, Leo fighting in close quarters, grabbing a guy and sliding him across a kitchen table and into one of the cabinets. We cut to elevator doors opening with Vincent and Leo inside and a knocked out security officer. Right after this scene we see Leo makes a huge jump across a canyon down towards Vincent. And finally we get the title of the game, A Way Out. Now next up let's look at the full gameplay reveal for this game which already has some narration and explains everything you're seeing and I'll just add in some commentary where I see fit. So the gameplay trailer starts off quick with a familiar scene of Leo sliding that guy across a kitchen table and then cuts to Leo punching a guy in the face in the prison riot. Next we see Leo and Vincent discussing their plan for escape. It then cuts to some split screen footage of Leo picking up a frying pan as a weapon and Vincent toppling over a shelf in the kitchen. 
We then cut outside where we see Vincent being thrown into the same area we saw him mopping in the first trailer. And then we see Vincent in a prison fight in the cafeteria area, so I guess that's where the uh, prison riot starts, or one of the prison riots. Next we have Leo explaining to Vincent that it's his plan and he decides how it'll happen, so he appears to be kind of the brains of the operation. Right after that, Leo gets punched in the face by a prison guard, so clearly he's not the best. Then we see Vincent pulling Leo up a ledge near an antenna on the roof. This is likely during the breakout scene. And then we have another shot from the same scene uh, where Leo is swinging from a rope inside the prison and slams into a wall. Here we have another split screen view of the characters crawling through the pipes in the ceiling. And then another look at that awesome back to back vertical climb segment. Here we have some split screen footage despite both characters occupying the exact same space as they burst through a door. So I'm thinking that split screen view is persistent unless it's a special scene like the back to back climb or sliding down that glass roof. We have a few recycled scenes here like the, that huge jump and now we're going to hear from Joe Safaris in this next segment. My name is Joe Safaris and I'm the writer director of A Way Out. A Way Out is a story driven co-op game. It is designed, played and experienced only in split screen co-op. Which means you have to play the game with a friend, either online or on your couch. The game starts in a prison. You play as Vincent and Leo. You and a friend will get to know your characters and unfold their story together. You don't know anything about me, man. Maybe not. But Harvey killed someone very close to me. With or without you, I'm going after him. Let me show you some of the scenarios in the game. On the right side, you see Leo, who's already in prison. On the left, you see Vincent, who just arrived. Now, if you look to the right again, you can see that Leo can be controlled while Vincent is in a cutscene. Here is another one. Vincent and Leo are now in the laundry room. Your goal is to smuggle sheets using a laundry cart. You can approach the scenario in different ways. Either get the cart with Vincent. You know, I got a good pack right here. I think it's got your name on it. It's uh, broken. I don't know. Or with Leo. Get over here, you idiot. Yeah, but I think those two guys are just about to fight. Uh, what the? What? Who's him? In a way out, you will experience something new all the time. Everything you do in the game is unique for that scene. We want you and your friend to be focused and engaged throughout the entire story. But let me tell you, this is just the beginning of what you will be experiencing in A Way Out. Alright, so now the rest of this video is a montage of brand new footage. Starting off here, we see a convenience store robbery, which likely happened sometime after the prison break since Vincent and Leo won't meet until the prison. Leo is robbing the cashier while Vincent is holding a civilian at gunpoint nearby. We get split screen view of that heavily wooded segment here. Here we get a look at the game's UI, which will have button prompts for actions and will display the mission's objective status at the top left for both players. According to Joe, these missions can be tackled in multiple ways, so in this section it's likely you can go bl guns blazing to try to cross the bridge, sneak around on foot, or steal a cop car and try to blend in. We get a look at an intense bike chase scene where both protagonists have their own motorcycle and are trying to escape armed men in a truck. What's odd here is that the location looks vastly different than anything else in the trailer. This looks to be more of a tropical setting, suggesting the story might extend even further than the prison and the surrounding area. This next bit reminds me a bit of Mirror's Edge, where both players are climbing around some scaffolding in a large warehouse. There looks to be a part of this segment where the catwalk collapses under Vincent, which isn't surprising considering every third person action game has something breaking underneath him at this point. Next we have both characters sprinting through the woods, likely right after the initial prison break. You can even hear some dogs barking in the background. We have this last clip here showing both characters taking in the surrounding wilderness, likely happening the morning after the big prison break. We then see a scene where both characters sneak around a beautifully rendered civilian home and you can see some old school 1970s appliances like that fridge here and with checkered kitchen floor. And here's that scene from earlier where the characters are trying to cross the bridge, and sure enough, it looks like you can sneak by the cops pretending to be a patrol, but it looks as though that this is the only way to accomplish this task. Next bit in the trailer shows the car falling off a cliff, meaning it's likely a major part of the story and must happen no matter what. The developers did promise open-ended gameplay with different methods of tackling objectives, but the game is still going to be heavily scripted and very linear. And that's it for my frame to frame analysis for A Way Out. Let me know in the comments if there's anything I neglected to mention, and be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more E3 content. 
Next up, I'm going to break down the multiplayer footage for Star Wars Battlefront 2, so make sure you stay tuned, and don't forget that the PC Gaming, the Ubisoft, and the Sony Conference are still on their way later tonight. So I'm going to be uploading summary videos for all of those to keep you guys up to date on all the latest, and I will see you all next time.